He won the best new comedy for the BBC New Comedy Award last year. Would you welcome, please, Lost Voice Guy doing tonight's confession. <laughs> Take it away, Lost Voice Guy. Dear Father Simon in the Edinburgh-based collective, before I get started on my confession, let me try to give you some context of what led up to my actions on that particular day in my life. People have often asked me why I want to put myself in a position where everyone can stare and laugh at me. The truth is that, it happens to me every day anyway. At least this way there's a scheduled time and place for it. <laughs> I like to think I'm providing a public service. Which is more than some people are doing at the moment. Of course, I do it because I want to be famous too. I think everyone does really. I started off in a disabled, steps, tribute, band. <laughs> we were called Ramps. That was a bit of an uphill struggle. I used to often think about going on a talent show, on television, just to see the look on their faces when they realize I can't actually sing, or dance, or talk. And this is when it all starts in earnest. It was early in 2012, and I saw that auditions for a well-known talent show were coming to the Newcastle Arena, which was just 10 minutes away from where I live. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have gone along. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have stood in a queue for three hours in the freezing cold. And maybe I shouldn't have started pretending to warm up my voice while standing there. <laughs> but the chance of fame was too much to resist. And, to be honest, I thought I could be in with a chance, because Gareth Gates became successful despite his stutter. In my defense, I really never expected to get as far as I did. Surely someone would question how the hell I was going to sing. But I never got asked. Even after using my communication aid to speak to three different researchers from the program while standing in the queue, no one brought up the elephant in the room. Instead, they asked me which song I was going to sing. Of course, the choice was hard to make. Shout by Lulu was not as candid, as was Don't Speak by No Doubt. In the end, I went for I Believe I Can Fly. <laughs> Fast forward to a few hours later. I was standing in front of the producers of the show who would decide my fate. I could see straight away that they were very confused when I walked in. <laughs> the look on their faces as I began to sing was priceless. Especially as I started to sway along to the words as well. Unsurprisingly, they rejected me without even raising a smile. In fact, they still didn't smile as I walked out and asked them if it was because my voice had sounded too flat. <laughs> it seems that, sometimes I say it best, when I say nothing at all. <laughs> Father Simon, I seek forgiveness not from the people who work on the show, who should have really known better than to let me into the building. And not from R. Kelly, for totally <laughs> ruining one of his most famous songs for the sake of my own amusement. I never really liked it anyway. <laughs> I ask for forgiveness for all the more talented people who could actually sing, but didn't get the chance to audition, because some disabled bloke obviously had far too much free time on his hands on the day in question. All right, that's Lost Voice Guy and his... <laughs>